Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So we're with the Night Gaunts right now. They're just going to push forward in the city and engage the enemy straight on. Alright, so this is a four skull mission. Keeping it's a straight up battle in the city, so I don't know what to expect. Um, now it's not against clan forces, so... You know, I don't know. Maybe it'll be tough. Maybe it won't be. Looks like we've only got one lance. Maybe. Most likely they'll have, they'll have reinforcements. So we're just going to push forward. Now we've got two lances of mechs and two vehicles with us today. Thought I spotted somebody. I heard that we spotted somebody, but I guess not. Got to be aware of the terrain too. I don't want to be like getting myself caught behind. Um, Location confirmed. Moving out. Behind ramps that I'm uh, not seeing. I read you, Commander. I'm gonna push Moving it. Oh, we got someone straight up ahead here. Archer. Okay. I want to cover as much ground as early as possible. On my way. Take as much of the field as we as we can here early on. Move order confirmed. I know uh -huh. we're we're bunching up here, but that's fine. All right, demolisher. Sure. Copy that. And let's get you right up here. Heading out. Alrighty, well, that's the archer. Let's see if we can get anybody else. I wish Wendigo was faster. We can get up like there with some sensors a little earlier, but that's fine. Let's get into here. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Alright, so they do have reinforcements. Okay, so we are... That's the ramp down there. Okay. So what do we got here? Victor. Alright, it's looking promising. Demolisher. Sealed. Okay, so I, I'm, I'm imagining that it's sealed. means you can use it in uh, zero-G environments. Long time. So we got to kill that thing fast. Longbow, that guy's going to do some damage. Zeus. Okay, so we do have some good enemies here. And there should be two more somewhere. It's Outworld's Alliance, so I don't know. Uh, let's just use the improved on this guy. Uh, he's got lots of rockets, so we got to kill this guy fast. Alright, so who do we got next here? Yes, Commander. Ultra fives. Let's get. You up here. Got it. Full speed, no target. We gotta really spread out too. Cause I don't think we're gonna get to the uh, long tom or the or the long bow early. This guy on the other hand, this guy is gonna enjoy some pain. He's going on 19 though, so he might be okay. Wow, nothing, eh? Also, I gotta watch out for buildings that could explode on me and cause damage. What's up, boss? Ah, that was fun last- I gotta say the, the last episode with these guys was fun. With that happening. Uh, let's get to here. Gonna go indirect, we're gonna use you in the long tom. And we can't. Too far away. Devastator and two long toms. Oh crap, that could be really bad. Just go with standard. Alright, who's up? Slingshot. Receiving you. Um Let's get over here behind the building for now. Just for now. Save our sensor lock. We gotta cover some ground to get to that longbow, man. We got at least three turns before we can get there. And we gotta blow this victor up on the me. way, too. Damn it. Awaiting orders. Stop sensor locking us! Well, that puts us in range. Let's get up there. On my way. Double time. 
Try and get as much evasion as we can too on these guys. Alright, fire him. Fire on this guy. Alright, one hit, we'll take it. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, let's get our AMS into overload mode before I forget. I think you can go here. Pedal to the metal. We're starting to get a bit of space between our mechs, which is good. Standard ammo, just fire on this guy. Yeah, we're going to push straight down here. I want to go right into those long toms and wipe them out fast, and then we'll wheel to the left. They got a sensor lock left? on me. Yeah, left. Nice. That wasn't a longbow, was it? No, that was the Zeus, right. What can I do for you? All right, Igor, you're pretty much useless until you can get close, so let's get you up there. Now, I did make a small change to Igor here. Uh, we got two, four, six, we got eight ER smalls now, and a tagger. Um, I just felt that the loadout wasn't performing as well as it could. So I think I put in... I can't remember what I got, what I put in here now. Was it the, I don't know, it wasn't a gyro, it was, um, Clan Pharaoh, I think, went in. I pulled out the narc, because the narc only had five shots, and I put in a tagger. Oh yeah, and I, I think I put in a couple double heat sinks too, I think. Yeah, the archer's backing off. Anyway, so loadout is marginally better. It does more direct damage. That guy's going to be a problem. Two from 45. All right, well. Let's get up to here. Not bad, huh? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Just for now. Yes, Commander. You know what your job is. Let's get over here to start. Copy that. I want a second one of these. If we can run with two of these, um, the fact that they can cover so much ground and do half decent damage. I'm really interested in getting a second one going. They're light on armament, that's the thing. That's why I like the ATM version of this. Because the ATM version has got the... Um, it's got good range, number one. Which I, th which I think is important with the ERs. ER uh, launchers. And then it's got, you know, medium range, like indirect, like uh, obviously indirect as well, as well as direct. Medium range firepower with the standard ammo and then close range with the high explosive. Um, so it's actually really, really good. Now it's only an ATM-9, so I mean, so you're limited with what you have, but still. Yes, okay, well, the archer's out of range. Those long toms didn't do a damn thing. What can we draw on here? Anything? You know what? Let's just reserve. I'm going to reserve it back a bit, I think. Let's let them make some plays. It's going to tank our um, initiative, I think, next round a little bit, but a lot of our mech, mech warriors have got piloting at six and, and like at least six to eight tactics now. So we get very, very little on our, um, our, in, our initiative for next round when we reserve. Because normally every time you reserve, you lose um, initiative off your next round, which makes sense. Commander, still don't have that guy in sight, eh? So, and that's that goes down with the more I think it's I believe it's piloting, or is I think piloting um, 
helps with the randomness of initiative. It lowers the randomness. <coughs> Wonder if those long toms just can't see us. That's why they didn't fire. I'm here. Um let's hold off. So I've been trying to like make my pilots as well rounded as possible. Now that I know that um you know Melee oh he's coming back for some more damage. Beautiful. Now that I know Melee is gonna be a horrible thing. Oh no, that's gonna be like Bad. Ow. Well, you can back up for this for the my ass kicked. You can back up for this match. Now that I know Melee's a like a real it. thing. And I gotta be very, very careful with it. Let's back up here and brace for now. Got it, Commander. Um, I've been raising my piloting and my guts up. The piloting helps, I think it's piloting helps a little bit with melee resist, like, like, melee resistance, and I think guts helps with, with, um, uh, melee resist as well, also injury resist, so, just helping the pilots out, pilots out a little bit. Alright, how far can you get? You gotta go back this way, huh? Ooh, that's interesting. So that's a barrier. Oh, that's a tunnel, I see. Let's not get to where that demolisher can see you, but let's get into here. Actually, let's get to here instead. Just in case the de Going demolisher down. moves up and around. He doesn't get an angle on you. And we'll fire at the same long tom over here. I wonder if his long tom is out. What's this guy like? He's got everything. Alright, that's a lot of armor. Holy shit, that's a lot of armor. All right, well, ready for orders. We got to push them hard, though. I think we're not really in the right uh, position for it, though. Yeah, as soon as we move forward, they don't have a direct line of sight on us. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. How far do we want to push? Oh, the vulture can move up a fair bit. Okay, so the vulture should be up in here this turn. I gotta, I gotta make sure I don't outpace the vulture because uh, we need to make sure that. Um, yeah, I think we can afford to use the incendiary on the long toms. I gotta make sure that he's up there with his armor, so that he can draw fire. Because we obviously can't have the Kid Foxes tanking. Good to go. So that we're up on a okay, we're up on a thing here, so we have to go this way to go around if we want to shoot these guys. And then we can't get down off there. Oh, that's just stupid. That looks like it's easy to get off of. So we have to go down the ramp then. That's what? Demolisher? No what is he running? Just running? I wonder if he's got- I wonder if it's AC-20s or if it's something else. Yeah. Kelly M AC-20s. Although he has taken a bit of damage to start with, so... Uh, yeah, we're gonna hold off on the rockets. Let's do this, though. No, he didn't get any evasion, eh? That's interesting. What have you got? Oh, you got AC-20s as well. So you've burned all your rockets already. So you got four medium lasers, probably. Aye, aye. Let's get in the trees. Let's get prepped for next turn. I don't know how to play this now. This thing is blocking us. I mean, it's also blocking them, but that's bad. Because that means we can't use our range to pull down guys before they get to us. Which means these guys will be appearing the same time I'm fighting these guys.
This is a bad spot to be in. Commander. Maybe we can get a demo on demo fight. That'd be kind of good. I think we need to sprint this. Let's get up here. That's really good chances to hit. What's the chance on the archer? This guy's more of a threat than the archer is, though. Uh, let's go with... We're limited on LK, but I think it's worth it on this guy. Let's fire. Hope we get a narc shot on. We should. Yeah, the narcs are on there. PPC hit. Nice. I'm receiving you. Okay, you can bring those Ultra Fives up and do the same thing. All right, let's move. Now the narcs on there. Nice. Got past the armor. I hear ya. Still one of the best quotes. Let's get to here. Double I'm not going to jump just for stability's sake. Okay. So it's not bad. I mean, the eight ER ER small lasers. It's still a hundred and sixty alpha strike. Yeah. Fuck me. That was a heavy hit, Commander. I'm under heavy fire. <sighs> it's gonna be bad times, people. It's gonna be bad times. Orders. All right, we're just walking to get our stability back. We got to push those long times. We have no choice. Warlord, this. Let's get let's get lucky on this guy. If we if we can blow through him, we can kill it. We can kill the um, the uh, demolisher in one turn. Damn! Come on, get the side. All right. Well. Got something you want done? I've got somebody I want killed. This Victor might have an AC-22. I'm pretty sure that's an AC-20. Fuck me. He's in strike range too. I can't back up because it's just backing up into flames. Get over here. Firm. Get away from that Victor. And then, um, how much has he got left here? 27? We're gonna use incendiaries. Hopefully we get lucky. Okay, a couple hits. Scored a critical hit. At least he's sitting in fire if he moves. Go. He's gonna take, um, damage, so... Now what do we do? No, we don't have fire maneuver. Stay on this side, stay away from that AC-20. I don't think the Victor's got a lot of armor though, so I'm not, I mean... I'm worried about it, but I'm not that that worried about it, if you know what I mean. Come on, finish him up. Damn it. Receiving you. Think that'll keep me hidden? Gonna have to do. 
We're gonna have to quick strike and kill this victor fast, like fast, fast. I think we should be able to kill that devastator this turn. Oh, what's he doing? Okay. That's good for us. That's really good for us. Orders. We're gonna need you in this fight, so we need to get you up here. We're gonna go around we're gonna go around their flank and do it this way. We're gonna go this way. Yes, Commander. Now you don't I don't think we've got fire and maneuver on this guy. No, we don't. I want to get a direct shot on somebody, but... Those long times are going to go again. we got to push this, get up as fast as we can. I wonder if we sacrifice the... Uh, the vulture by sitting tight. Jumping into flame, so it won't matter if we jump or sprint. It's going to put you in demolisher range. Hold off. Standing by. Now, how much armor? Don't know. We don't know how much armor you've got. That's a direct line of sight to shit. What turn is this, 18? Let's hold off for a second. So here's my thought. If we can get rid of that Devastator before she moves, I'll move into a direct line of sight with the Long Toms and hit them hard. Okay. Yeah, all my heat sinks are at warning right now. Let's cool off a bit with controlled bursts. I got to at least move though. That whole one square. Oh boy. Um, don't need the narc on this guy. Let's just leave this one off. Save some heat. I mean, 120 should probably do it. But we got to make sure we get him. Okay, we got first blood. We got first blood. Where are you going? That's interesting. Okay, here comes the missiles. Well, at least you're shooting on somebody with AMS and we got a double AMS. We're going to be out of AMS ammo Side very down. shortly. So we got to get these guys fast and then get that longbow. I'm going to send the Grendel and the, um, this adder over there, the, sorry, the Kid Fox, to get it. Can't see anybody, eh? Full speed. On my way. Double time. I know we're going through fire, but we don't have a choice. Got to get up there. Good to go.
I wonder if we send Igor over there too. I think we probably should. So that Victor moved from here to there. So he's got some half decent speed, which means I gotta be careful about him seeing me if I move over there. Demolisher hasn't gone yet. We're on what, turn... We're on 13? This guy hasn't gone yet? Oh, I guess not. Oh, wait, this guy was on 13. That's right. Let's just reserve. Got it. And you're going to reserve as well. Okay, that was a big miss. Thank God. Okay, who's up? Commander. The great thing about this guy is it's got so much armor. Like, I mean, 176. So we can take, we could, I mean, if we took two AC 20 hits in the same location, it would be a bad time. That's if he, if he hits with both. But I think we need to push these long toms like hard. Like hardcore. On it. Okay, we're in threatening range now, so we don't have any enough for uh, vigilance. So this guy's got 72%, 72. Who's got the, this guy's, Got one thing down, a little bit lower armor. So we're going to go out to the weaker guy first. And firing. All weapons are low. Okay, it's a start. Maybe he'll, maybe the other guy will try and target me. Waiting on you, Commander. Don't think I'll get that lucky. So the demo's already gone? It went on 15? But I think I can out roll this guy next turn. I think so. Igor is pretty damn fast. <sighs> Tactics 5, maybe not. not convinced this is a good idea. I'm not convinced. 76% chance to hit though. That's just a tagger back there. Gonna make us a little warm, but that's the far side, unfortunately. I mean, if we hit really well in one location, Let's go for it. Okay, so he was braced. All out of FRS, Commander. Yeah, we spread that around. Standing by. On the move. Gotta get you up here too. We need more guns. All right, who's up? Waiting for orders. We try and fire suppress the archer. Do we go after the long tom? Move order received. How's this long tom looking here? 88 in the front. 
Chances are we're not going to hit the front when we shoot at it, though. 24%. What's the chance on this guy? A little better. Our heat gauge is fine. So only got a handful of medium lasers, though, but I think we take the better chance. Ah, oh, god damn. Yeah. I copy. The reason why I did that, I was thinking. Target's taking a critical hit. We'll strip some more our like armor out the front of the long tom. I'm thinking that might be a good idea. But then I'm thinking the archer with four medium lasers might just turn into a brawl bot because I believe archers have battle fists. And because the archer has a battle fist, he may just decide, oh yeah, I'm just gonna go punch somebody instead today. And that would be a bad time. Okay, so we can we should be able to just get over here. Confirmed. Get our stability back. Get our fire suppression into play. Hammer this guy. Let's get on him. They're blowing through my armor. Fuck, who did I hit? Fucking Kit Fox? Are you serious? How many times? Okay. I don't know, man. Did he just take the whole building down? What happened there? Oh, he fired it. Oh, well. They're open for business, boys. They're open for business. I don't like the fact that my mechs are standing there, though. I'm just going to walk it down. Let's go on this guy. This guy's got two AC-20s, the other guy's only got one. So they're open for business on this side, looks like. Not good. It's all coming down to weight. Yes, Commander. Do I wait for the Zeus or do I just Our, our initiative will be, will be better next turn, so I'm not that worried. Alright, well. Because this guy's got reduced internal structure. Alright, fuck you, buddy. Come on, give me some crits. Beautiful. Target neutralized. I'm out of SRM. Longbows are great as long as they don't close. If they close, they're in trouble. Yeah, you run. He's going to meet up with medium range Ready missiles in a second here. Six points left on the left arm. Make sure we turn the right arm to this guy. And, uh, let's just say hello to him. He's taking some good damage on the side. Hopefully we claim that torso. Nope, well we got a head hit though. Reporting critical hit. Commander?
There's nowhere we can go that the Orion is, or the Zeus is not going to see us. So let's get over here. Sprinting. Victor, hang on to these for now. We got Sam on this, right? Yeah, that's fine. Got it. Nice. Twenty percent damage reduction. All right. Can't Armor afford those hits. Internal damage. Yeah, I know. Commander. We got a whole lot of fuck you showing up right now. Actually, can we move there? No, we can't. <laughs> I gotta make sure that we've got uh, a good line of sight on him because we've got. This is this is like danger close shot. I, I feel, but let's get on him. Jesus Christ! What did we hit? We didn't hit our own guy, did we? No, I don't think so. It felt like we did though. Waiting for orders. Okay. This better be a kill, kill shot, kiddo. I hope so. Not enough. Alright, we have to use the, uh... Oh, it was enough. He ejected. Yes, Commander. Well, that's good. Actually, let's just walk it. to here. Affirmative. This guy's in a lot of danger right now. We gotta shoot on this guy. Nice. Receiving you. Just gonna drive right up to the front of them. They've got machine guns. Let's hope they shoot at me. And let's just shoot straight in this guy's front. Firing all of course. Why would we hit the front when we're sitting right in front of it? Yeah. Yikes! That hit hard. Reporting heavy damage. Ow. These things are pretty damn fucking accurate. That's pretty damn accurate, I gotta say. Fuck. What do we do? Okay, we should be able to do that. And that. I love the fact that they added that in. It's so nice. Such a bad chance to hit on this guy too. His legs are badly damaged though. Fire. Okay, he's tagged. I'm ready. Okay, Archer is all yours, buddy. Archer is all yours. Solid connection on that one. Not enough to knock his ass down, though. Ready for orders. He 
He's got an AC5, large laser, medium laser, LRM15, AC22, medium lasers. He's going on 21. We got 23. You're on 20. God damn it. We got to push him back or something. Maybe I got to... We can't take the leg. Maybe we if we hit with everything on the... We would get the leg. But we got to hit with everything. The AC-20 is going to wreck us. Where is the AC-20? It's right here, isn't it? It's where the ammo is. He's got safe ammo too. Oh, and regular AC-20. Where's the AC-20? thought it was in his torso. Oh, it's in his arm. We don't have enough to take the arm. I gotta go for the leg. I'm not gonna have enough to do it. I just gotta shoot him, I guess. Okay, that helps a little bit. 67. Roger. Yeah, so little damage. Scored a critical hit. Well, he's panicking, he's unsettled, and he's unstable. So, hopefully his chance to hit will drop significantly. We didn't push his initiative back, unfortunately. Not that it would have helped anybody else on this side, but... Oh, he's running. Holy shit. You just saved our ass, buddy. Good to go. Let's not, um... How are we doing stability-wise? we got to walk it. So that's the... Right side. And we could take a head hit, too. I gotta turn the left side to him. I can't. I guess I can sprint it. Shit. I guess we can kind of do that. Not good for stability, but we have a follow up shot here that I can't not take. So let's take it. Firing on target. AC-20 destroyed. Standing by. So we pretty much neutered that guy. So we're hurt on the right side too. So move up and turn to the left side, stay in the trees to, to absorb some damage and just, just hammer this guy. Nice hits. Unsettled him a little bit. That's good. Aye, aye. Roger that. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. I'm taking damage. Yeah, just sit there. Watch my heat. I'm taking damage. We're all taking damage. Relax. That's why we gotta get that's why we gotta get a heavier mechs. I think if we were all running 55 tonners, this would be a, a joke. We would have no problem. Ooh. Okay. Who's up? Stay and toasty. I think we gotta shoot this guy though. Do we have incendiary? We do. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, nope, not enough. Good to go. So we're way within the uh minimum range of these long toms so the Grendel should be fine I think the minimum range is like is like 
if I'm not mistaken, it's like 180 meters or something like that. So we should be okay. Now we may miss with some of these and hit our own guy, but uh -huh. there we go. Goodbye. You well worth that? it. Ready for orders. Moving out. All right, hammer him. Bet you that was a side hit. Yep. Because we shot from the back, we hit him in the side. Because what else? It's such a weird... I don't know what the percentage chances are. Receiving you. This demolisher is so fucking slow. You push him forward. Bring our bring those shots to bear. Actually, should I do this? Uh, vigilance isn't going to give us that much, though. Of course, the fire spreads right to where she's sitting. <laughs> Standing by. Let's give this guy a whole lot of fuck you. This is the guy that damaged you early on, so let's hammer him. Target locked. How's it going, buddy? Critical hit, Commander. How's the match? How's the match handling you? Let's just shoot one. Yeah. Guess we can move out of here next turn. Standing by. Okay, that Zeus is out of play right now. So let's finish this Victor up. Coordinates received. Let's hope we get that leg. Acknowledge. Or we can just kill him, that works too. Mech destroyed. Waiting for orders. So I don't think that Zeus has got the speed to get around there to get to you. Let's go here. I think we do this though. Right, Commander. Critical hit, Commander. I just take a lot of damage. Orders. I don't know how brave you feel, Slingy. We could take this guy's back. He's got pretty good armor on his back, though. I think. Oh, he doesn't. He's got ass armor on his back. We've already stripped a lot off the front, too, with those AC-5s. I mean... It's going to open you up to an attack, but... I copy. See if we can make this guy panic. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good chance, though. So he's got. I have no idea what he's got where. So this arm is probably the AC. This arm is definitely the LRM, which is pretty much useless at this range. So I mean, maybe we go for this back torso here. Like right here. Locked on. Or we could just shoot him in the CT back. That works too, I guess. Critical hit, Commander. Let's 
I guess he's up now. Oh, the vibrations of the building falling behind me. All right. You've been pretty ineffective this battle. Nope, I think we do this guy. Let's wind it up. Get the control bursts on, reduce some heat a little bit, and hammer him. Nice. PPC hit. How did that taste? I'm here. Let's not get to where that rifleman can see us. Should be able to claim this guy this turn, I think. That should do the leg, yep. Reporting critical hit. Oh yeah, more than what I could have hoped for. What can I do for you? So we were on the back. Uh, you wait. We what side did we hit here? That's the left side. Going turbo. Uh, wait. Where the hell am I? Don't turn the map. I'm over here. There we go. Gonna warm it up and fire everything on this guy. Ooh! Spread it around though. Oh, good hits on the side. A lot in the front too. I'm shocked this archer was like the first guy we shot at. And now he's like the only guy left, pretty much. Who's up? Orders. On my way. Let's hope this works. Let's finish this guy off. Yep. Enemy vehicle destroyed. All right, let's clean this up and go home, people. Wow, you didn't get the chance to do much, did you? Oh, wait, wait. No, I can't. You can't shoot though. I can't shoot because of this. You'd think we wouldn't be able to hit our own guy, but... There's a good chance we'd hit with the LV axes, but let's just fire Don't these. Nice. Yeah, battle fists. I think that's the quirk of the mech, too. The archer's got those battle fists. Commander? Get over here. I copy. All right, who's up? Who's up? Blade, Rose, you guys are over there. Standing by. Heading out. Do I it. Copy. I smell blood now. Target's taking a critical hit. What does he go on? 13? Alright, he's done. I'm receiving you. Copy that. Your DAC has already shot that mech in the back once, so... Let's not uh, do that again. I'm receiving you. Ooh! What do you think? He messed you up? Time to mess him up?
What do you got left? Not a whole lot. There is no overkill, just kill. Target eliminated. That's a pretty juicy archer archer ch chassis though, with all those rocket po hard points. Mission successful. I wonder how many clan LRMs you could fit in that thing. That'd be interesting to see. All right, Cougar took some damage. Most of the dam, uh, most of the severe damage we we inflicted on ourselves. So, well, by a long time would be a nice ch nice get. But we're trying to stay with clan stuff. So unfortunately, all that stuff's out of the picture. But two Kaliyamas. Look at the damage on these things. I think I killed that uh, a demo first, or as soon as I could. That is, and it didn't get a chance to fire. Increased damage, increased recoil, increased heat. That's a possibility. Long Tom Artillery. We got four four things we can take. Wow, there's not a lot here. Spa Liner, we've got two of. And we could take this for C-Bills. Oh, LC, AC-20 double loads. Precision rounds. There's only like three per, sh yeah, three shots per ton. Eight long time. Oh, it's only five shots per ton. Okay. I mean, how off? I'm not, I mean, now that we're getting up higher level, we might see these more often. But I'm wondering if I should take just for the future. Let's grab these two because I mean, this is the first time I've seen them, so why not? Let's grab the AC-20 Precision. Do I want to go this route? I mean, we're not really doing artillery in this particular playthrough. I've been trying to keep things light and fast. You notice we've been we ran into problems when both the Vulture and the Demolisher haven't weren't able to engage. They've got heavy firepower, but weren't able to engage, and most of the most of the stuff was taken down by our mobile units. So. I want to try and stay as mobile as I possibly can. Going long tom I don't think would do it. I mean it's nice to have something like if anything we would take three long tom pieces and have it sit in the back and just shoot at long range but Ooh, com sweets. Increase resolve per action. See I like these two, right? Because the more resolve we get, the more pin uh Offensive pushes we get, the more um, vigilance we can get. Like, you know what I mean? It's like it just keeps us alive longer. Um, how much are these worth? Three and a half million. I think we just take these and sell them. I think that's what we do, and then. So we just roll the bones and see what we get. We've already got a demolisher, so we don't need another one. All right, roll the bones. Archer part, longbow part, victor part. All right, not bad. All right, these guys are for sale. There's a million right there. Those guys can go. We don't need cores. Jump jet can go. We got a lot of stuff. Oh, we got a, all the AC-20 ammo. That's pretty awesome. AC-5 ammo. Um, that can go. Long Tom ammo. Do I sell it or keep it? In case we get a long time in the future that we want to use. You know what? Forget it. Let's just get rid of it. I don't want to go that route with this playthrough, I don't think. LRM ammo can go. And the LRM double will hang on too. So yeah, I mean, that worked out pretty well. We got 3.8 million right now. All right. That was actually pretty good. I'm actually I'm actually pleased with that. 3.8 million. Let's quickly go to the mech bay. Because we're only like halfway through the month here. Not even. So. Um, let's go to the mech bay. We do have some repairs to make here. I can do that. I can do that afterwards. Oh, these are just quick. Uh, these ones we have damage. Oh, no. They're all just quick repairs. Nice. Okay. So. Um. 
So we've got a Stormcrow, Hellbringer. We do have another Bandit Hovercraft. Now, we don't have the ability to make the same one that we have. We got one with three medium pulse lasers, which isn't, I mean, we get three shots per pulse laser, 12 damage roughly per shot. So it's about the same as the other one, the other bandit, because we've got ATM-9 with HE rounds do 12 damage per shot. So this is about the same. The only problem is we have to be close to use this and have direct fire. I like the indirect fire of the other one, because then when it gets damaged, it can just kind of back off and shoot from a distance and still apply a little bit of damage. And this one here is, the medium heavy laser is okay, streak fours are okay, medium pulse laser is okay. But once again, it's a close range build. You got to get in and shoot everything off. And it's really a mixed bag of weapons on this thing. So I don't know. I'm just going to wait till we get another ATM one, I think, and then we'll put together another ATM build. Um, but yeah, we still, we, I mean, we got a lot of other mechs that we could put together. Zoria, we can put one of these together too. Now, this is the what? 35 tons. LBX 5 and an LRM 10. Not bad for long range shooting, but once again, no armor. And this one, LBX 5 and a mortar 6. Same, no armor. This one's got slightly more armor, a couple points more, but not, not a big deal. So it's really no, I mean, at this stage, they're just going to target it and kill it anyway. So unless it's got at least like 150 to 200 points of armor on the front and sides, at least front and sides, if we can get in the back too, that's great. It's really not worth putting in the field because the chance of getting it getting destroyed is actually what we've seen from from uh, um, the Dragon's Rejects. It's actually quite high. Well, we got two Victor parts now. I should just sell these off because we're trying to stay clan with this. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, I could do like a 2C version of it, I guess. Put a uh, Clan XL in it. Because we don't really have a lot of heavy Clan stuff. But let's... Um, we have enough money to put one of these guys together now, though. The problem is drop weight, too, right? Some of these like, are limited to 500 ton drop weight. And that, what we just dropped, was 500 tons. Well, it was 480, I think. Something like that. So it's pretty darn close. So... Let's bring this let's bring this forward. That mech you wanted is back online. So this one's got what? A pair of SRM twos and a pair of LRM twenties. Let's just see what he's got in the mech bay here. Nice to see you down here in the hole. Doesn't look like I got a lot left here. Oh the arms are intact though. Actually not too bad. I'm actually kind of it's that's impressive that we actually got a few things on this. So if we pair all, we got both LRMs, the NARC launcher, which we don't, I mean, not really thrilled with. So yeah, that's not bad, and it's like super cheap to put together, 15 days. Let me strip everything off it. And then this will probably replace the one kit fox that we've got with, um, let's leave that in there for now, with the uh, two regular large lasers. We'll drop that one, because that's not, I mean... It's not doing a lot for us right now. So we'll drop that one out of play. And we'll put this one into play. Figure out what we're going to do with it yet. Um, got LBX. We've got Ultra 2. I don't know what, know what we're doing for ammo though. God, it's so like... I know I said this the l in the last episode. It's like... Everything that I've got here... Or some of the stuff that I have here would work well in, in the Dragon's Rejects playthrough and vice versa. I just don't have what I need, like, for each one. Like, I got tons of AMS ammo here, like, four tons of AMS double. And I try to put something together with the Dragon's Rejects and I can't find AMS ammo. We just, I can't get it anywhere. And I don't want to take it in, in, the, in the loot because it's like, it's like a waste almost of a slot, right? Or of a, of a loot choice. So... I mean, I don't know. It's so weird. Like, we got Fast Cam Thumper that I could use in uh, the Urban Mech playthrough. And, uh, you know. <sighs> got, like, like, lots of AMSs. AMS Mark II. You know, this might be another thing, too. Is we, This guy's got speed to him. So maybe we use an AMS Mark II in this as well. To help out. I mean, we could do the double ERPPC build, too, right? 
it'll be super hot. But I mean, we've got we're starting to get a plenty like a, a half decent amount of things. Like with the number of offline plays that I'm doing, um, we've been starting to accumulate a, a half decent number of like Clan Ando, Clan Pharaoh. I mean, the Clan Ando doesn't help us, right? Because it's already built in, but the Clan Pharaoh does, right? So. You know, we, we've been getting a few of those things. I've been keeping some of these in case we decide to put together another mech. But we do need regular heat sinks. Wow, I didn't realize how badly we, bad off we were. So it had to be a regular double heat sink. But we got an exchanger and a heat bank. Now, I actually bought these, believe it or not. We jumped into this system. And before I played the last match, these two were actually in the actual um, store. And I ended up spending a million C-bills to buy both of these. It was over a million, actually because I haven't been able to get them in drops or anything. So, I mean, I've, and yes, it's my fault because I've been completely obliterating all the mechs we've been fighting. So yeah, it's, it is my play. But the thing is, is that when you're running with like a lot of light mechs, the, all it takes is that one chance hit and it, it just smashes your mech. And then all of a sudden you don't have any weapon systems to replace what you've lost. It becomes a huge issue, right? So that's why I've been trying to just, just kill and get it done with. And then whatever we get, we get, as least long as we don't get, get get destroyed in the process, you know? But anyway, yeah, so we, I got a bunch of stuff here. So I'll figure out a loadout for this guy. Vent Zoom Mark III, that's probably got to go in. And then we'll get this one into play as well. But yeah, we're going to pull out the large laser. Actually, let's validate this and get it repairing. We'll pull out the large laser Kit Fox. I think that's the only one. It's this guy here, the B, I think. Um, that's got the pair of large lasers. It's the only one that I think that's causing issues for us. The other ones are, are actually loaded out fairly well. I like the, uh, the the medium pulse laser rocket build is nice. Um, it's got that nice, I mean, we, you saw it today, I took out the longbow, right? Um, it's got that nice hard punch, and then with, it, with the maneuverability and those pulse lasers, it's like, it's doing a good job at 30 tons, right? The Cougar is still pretty good at long range. It, I think it's fallen into its niche, you know? That large laser and the LRMs at range, it's really helping out the Stormcrow and the Nova, which is good. Uh, and now the Mad Cat as well. But we need another Speedy Boy, and I'm thinking that that, that new Stormcrow we could get a nice close-in Speedy Boy. And then the Kit Fox here. Oh, this is the one. Yeah, we're the one we're losing. So the Adder's doing okay too, I think, with the MRMs. As long as it doesn't get hit, it's fine. And the Grendel, I don't know. I mean. It's such a weird build, like, like if you strip everything off it, right, strip equipment, you're left with like less than like 9 tons, like, you know, like 9.75 tons of space. And it's not a lot because you can't, I can't get rid of the jump jets, like everything is fixed, right? So I can't get rid of anything. So, you know, like I said, I did do a, a couple of minor changes. I put the pirate fire control system in here for the accuracy bonus. Oh, that's what I did. I put the Battle Computer Energy in here as well. Um, I removed the NARC launcher and the ammo because that was two and a half tons. Replaced it with a Tagger. It freed up one ton. Add the Clan Pharaoh. Gave us an extra ton and a bit. I was able to up the armor slightly. Uh, the Laser AMS stayed in simply because this is a close-in mech, right? Um, I switched out a regular... Um, Guardian ECM for the Clan Guardian ECM pulled it out of the head so we could fit another ER small in. A um, couple of double heat sinks and now we're like, you know, pretty darn heat neutral, you know. So it's actually pretty good and this thing worked out pretty well I thought today. It's nice and fast, gets in close, can do a hell of a lot of damage. Well, the 160 is not bad. But the, the bonus to hits here, you know, it wasn't too bad at all. So we'll see how it's working in the coming days. I like the fact that the tagger now, I don't have to worry about turning the narc on and off on who we want to narc. And the fact that the um, the vulture has got a narc launcher on it, um, or the narc LRM, that's a big bonus too, right? Because now we can narc from a distance and not have to worry about getting close. So the tag's even better, I think, with this one because it can just fire all the time. And it actually does like eight damage too, right? So eight damage for four heat because it's, it's the pirate one, right? So... It works out well. But I am going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to, sub feel free to subscribe. And also, please drop your comments in the comment section down below. Does, I always get great comments from people. Make sure you go through the comment section and read them, too, because there's some of the some of the su suggestions and loadouts 
Um, I may not always do them, but the suggestions down below are always good. So make sure you go through and read those. All right, until next time, we'll see you later.